It looks dark, but of course, it's vlog time, so it's raining. So the common thing you will always see in the vlog is coffee. We are here getting a little pick-me-up so we can get on our way and find some fabulous foundation. Okay, we're at Cerritos Mall and I have spent many an hours here. Growing up, I used to come here all the time with my very, very best friends. And um, we just would shop till we dropped. And we are here because we're up visiting family and we are gonna check out the Sephora and get that Hourglass Spanish Foundation. So I, I am done with Hourglass Vanish. I've got it. Can't wait to show you guys. So here's the deal. I have not worn drugstore makeup in a long, like seriously, like 20 years. So I've got some recommendations. I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna get a foundation and we're gonna try it. Here's my deal. I'm gonna have to guess on this. There's the two colors. This is an ivory. This is a buff beige. You guys, look at my sweater. Okay, this is the talent of my 85 year old mother. She's awesome. I just had to show that off because it was made for my birthday. I got a little foundation from Ulta. I got a little foundation from Sephora. I got a little clothing from Zara. I've got some drugstore brands. I've got some prestige brands. So now we're gonna take these in. These will be the next two episodes that I'm gonna try each foundation in studio, give them a wear test, go all day long and see how they hold up and what I think of them. Here we are, first week of February. It is gonna be foundation February here on this channel. And I have the first foundation. We were out and about, got them all. And very first one to try is Vanish from Hourglass. I have been reading about it because it's a new foundation. And I just wanted to see everything the website has to say, all the different ways you can use it and go from there. So we normally do a vlog a week and it's normally the latter part of the week, but for this month, it's anything goes because I'm gonna be going out getting different foundations. So whatever I go out, that's gonna be the vlog. And what I have here in studio, it'll be right here in the studio. So I wanted to read just a little bit about, I have it on my phone here. Okay, I can't get it to scroll most of the time and now I was way down there. So what we have is Hourglass's new Vanish Foundation. It is called their Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. A highly concentrated liquid foundation designed to deliver instant full coverage for virtual skin perfection. This innovative, Weightless formula applies like a second skin, creating a smooth and flawless complexion. Three interesting facts. Instant full coverage with half a pump, no primer needed, and it's a natural finish. I usually do a luminous finish, so this is gonna be a little bit different, but I'm excited because on here, they have different ways to use it. There is a full coverage, where you'll use a more dense brush in a circular motion. There is a diffused coverage 
where you're gonna use still a brush application, but it's a little softer density and it will give a diffuse and you're gonna do sweeping motions. Then they have the luminous coverage, which I'm excited about. And I'm gonna use a wet sponge with that, which I normally don't use a sponge for my foundation, so this will be fun. And then targeted coverage. So you can actually target the areas and not have to put it all over your face. So I'm, I'm really excited. The innovation, weightless instant full coverage is delivered through the formula's innovative coated pigments allowing a seamless application and a long wearing second skin adherence. A natural finish is delivered through light refracting microspheres, blurring and smoothing any imperfections for virtually perfect skin. 24 hour use, waterproof, transfer proof and sweat proof. So what I'm gonna do is on one side, I'm going to use a wet sponge to try that luminous coverage. And then on the left side, I'm gonna use a less dense brush and the sweeping motions to do the diffused coverage because I feel like I would like either one of those and I'm excited to try the process of how they are saying to do it. I am using the color natural. Okay, so I put my hair up. I always start with my concealer first, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is Effa Cerns from Lancome. It's in 210 Light Buff. I will link all of it down below. As you guys know, I use a beauty blender to blend out my concealer with some hydrating setting spray. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is a Givenchy beauty blender with fix it and forget it setting spray from Lancome. I thought I would put my hair up so it would be easier and I have these little pieces coming down. Okay, so concealer's on. I just wear a very light amount. Now I'm gonna go in with a half a pump and one side I am going to do a wet beauty blender and the other side I'm going to do a brush in the sweeping motion. You know, it's weird because you feel like you need more, so I don't know. I'm this is my first time. I wet my sponge, but I'm going to I went ahead and sprayed it with the fix it and forget it as well. This is the 3D HD blender from Sigma. So it says to start blending it out. And then in stippling motions, this gives just a very natural finish. I think I'm gonna like the brush better. This is the Sigma Edge Kabuki F87. And I'm gonna go in with sweeping motions. And this gives it the diffused coverage appearance. And I'm just learning, you know, how much I'm gonna want. They say a half a pump, and I did a half a pump. I like this coverage better, for sure. And I'm just doing sweeping motions. I don't think I need full coverage. That's the circular. I'm gonna go ahead and do this other side, because this is gonna be a wear test for all day. And so I want them to be even. So it's nice to know you could get a super natural coverage if you do a beauty blender, a wet beauty blender. But I think I like more of a medium. So I am gonna just go in just a little bit, not even a half a pump just to add a little bit more to this left side, my left side. And this brush is actually nice because it is really fluffy here on the end. And so it's just kind of diffusing out the product, which I really, really like. What I thought was interesting was this foundation does not, and they said it over and over again, 
does not need a primer. I normally wear a primer with everything because I want either that extra hydration or just wanting to make sure, see how nice this is? It has, you can get right there around your brow. I really like it. I'm loving this brush. I gotta look real quick. Yeah, if it was up here, it'd be so great. It's hard when you're having to hold a mirror, you know? That is a diffused application. I didn't do full coverage, so I would say this is like a medium, medium coverage. I'm liking the finish. Again, I normally wear a luminous. It does not feel heavy. It doesn't feel tacky. I like that. So I probably will set it with a setting spray, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my blush and my bronzer. I went ahead and already did my eyes and had everything ready to go. I can just put on the foundation and get it done quickly. Now I am ready for the day. We're going to be out and about, give it a wear test. I might even go on a walk because it's supposed to be sweat proof as well. So might as well give it the true test. I haven't done my walk for today, so I could get that in. And we'll be back later to tell you how it wore. It's been about a little over eight hours and overall, I'm loving the foundation, you guys. And I really typically don't go for a full coverage, but for a full coverage, natural finish foundation, it's really beautiful. Now, I am gonna be a little bit critical because I'm giving it a full, just honest opinion, okay? We didn't take any pictures throughout the day because we wanted to have the same light as what I am here when I put it on. So that's why we haven't, you know, some people asked me last time with the Morphe review, oh, did you take pictures throughout the day? No, I didn't. I have not touched my face though. I did redo my lipstick. I haven't touched anything else. Overall, yes, I think it's a great foundation. If I am going to just be a little nitpicky, I am more of a normal to dry skin. I wear a luminous medium coverage foundation. I wanna be fair. So in this area, and I don't know if Ness can get it, but in this area, it is kind of breaking up a little bit on my lower jawline. And it's kind of breaking up on my forehead near my hairline. Now, the weather, it is winter. The weather has been wreaking havoc on my skin, not to mention I did my own concoction of like a peel and I, I you guys just didn't even wanna see it. So my face is healing. Where I'm still dry, it's breaking up because I'm, I'm kind of flaking in here. Where I'm back to normal, and this is like my oilier parts, which it is for most people, that T-zone area. I actually love that luminous glow that it's giving. And I haven't, again, I haven't touched it. I don't use powder. It's setting so nicely on the skin. I really, really love it. It's not even creasing in my laugh lines. Not even increasing there. It is a little bit up here. So with that being said, the challenges for me and this foundation was it's, it stressed half a pump, half a pump, half a pump. You know, that's kind of stressful because I felt like I didn't get enough at the beginning. And when I tried this side with the sponge, I didn't like it like from the get go. That, just didn't work. I did like the more um, diffused process that they said to do. I did like that. And I'm used to using a brush for my foundation anyway, so it's comfortable for me. I liked the finish a little better. The half a pump is a challenge because I know for myself, I talk to a lot of people that wear foundation and I'm usually the one that wears the least amount as far as, you know, when we're talking about like, how, how many pumps do you use or how much do you use? I just don't use that much where other people are going, yeah, two or three pumps. So this half a pump thing is kind of a challenge, okay? 
that would be my first thing. Secondly, other than that, I mean, I'm gonna wear it tomorrow again. So on my next video, you know, even though I'm gonna be going over another foundation, I'm gonna give you a little update on how it's been working because I honestly, I love it. I think it's a beautiful foundation. I feel like when I get my, you know, my areas under wraps, then it will be setting nicely in those drier areas. For you guys that are very, very, very dry, it's not the foundation for you. It's more of a natural finish foundation and I really feel like if you have extremely dry skin, you're not gonna like the way it sits on your skin. Overall, I love it. You know, I'm gonna work with it because I really wanna give it another go. So I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. I'm gonna wear it all day again and, you know, really, really give it a good shot because I'm liking it for the most part. I think the part that I don't like, honestly, is my skin. I don't think it's the foundation. It sells for $56. On a side note, I did kind of freak out just a little when we walked into Sephora last night because we didn't see it. They weren't set up yet and it was in the drawer. So if you do go to a Sephora and you're wanting to buy it and then you don't see it, have them look around, you know, just ask. I'm gonna link this and all the products I, I used below. So you'll have all those. If you have any questions on anything that I used or any process or where I found it, let me know. And last but not least, please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And of course, if you're subscribed, share, because um, I would love to visit more audiences. Take care, I will see you in a few days.